All right, greetings, greetings, fellow great elevens. Look, it's Mr. Tlajo again. We are back with some uh, amazing videos. So look, now what you are looking at, we are looking at a November 2017 paper. Now, uh, so this is our question eight. Now let's see in terms of what question eight require us to do. Now they say a bag containing three uh, blue marbles, two red marbles. Now a marble is taken from the bag uh, the color is recorded and the marble is put aside. A second marble is taken again from the uh, back and the color is recorded and is put aside, which means what basically happens is from this particular bag of our marbles, right? Uh, of our marbles, what they do is they take one marble, they put it on the side, uh, a different color. Then they also take another marble and they put it on the side. But we are not sure in terms of which color are they taking, right? So basically that's the uh, entire situation. They say now draw the tree diagram to represent the information. Show the probability associated with each branch as well, right? So let's start here. Now, uh, how many marbles are we having here? We are having two marbles, right? So which means now the probability of drawing the first two marbles will be as follows, right? So this is going to be the first branch representing, uh, what? Let me draw this nicely, uh, these marbles. So now here, so this is going to be same as now. The probability here is, now the first marble is going to what? For you to have, uh, uh, for you to have this is going to be what? What is going to be the total sample space here? The total sample sp space is going to be two plus five, which I um, mean two plus three, which gives us five. Look at me writing the answer. Right, so this is going to be two plus three, which is what, which is five. So, which means the sample space is five. So, now, and which means now, if you can check the probability of having the blue and then the red, what is going to be the blue? The probability of having the, of having the blue is going to be three out of five marbles, while the probability of what, of having the what, uh, the red marble will be two out of five marbles. Right, that's the first branch. But now they are saying, uh, they are drawing uh, also another. A, another thing right so which means now we are going to say now if you have represented this first probability the second probability will be now already they've taken one from this which means there is minus one here right which means your sample space is uh four so and this is the branch of what of blue which means if they have taken one blue what is the probability that will be remaining look if they've taken a blue you are going to be left with two blue now out of what out of a uh, four remember that's going to be the totality right and now uh from this red one the red will remain what will also remain two out of four i would again and now from this other branch now from this particular red branch what is it that you are going to do now if you are taking uh one from this red if you have taken one from this red you are left with one out of four right and now from uh, the blue one, what is it that you are going to be left with? You are left with uh same as what? You are left with three. You are still left with three out of what? Out of four marbles. Okay. So basically, this is going to be your tree diagram. And whenever you are doing your tree diagram, please do not forget now to represent the what? Uh, to represent your total uh, sample, right? This is going to what? This is for blue and blue. If you are taking blue and blue, this one is for what? This is for blue and red. Whereas this second one is what? It's same as now for red and what? This is blue and this is red. So this is red and blue. And this other one will be what? Will be your red and red. Out again. So this is going to be the total number of outcomes. Right? So this is your probability. And you take your three marks. You move. Now 8.1.2. They say determine the probability of uh, first taking a red marble and then a blue marble in that order in that order right uh, now uh, so which means the the probability of taking the first one red and then blue which means you'll come here and say what is the probability of red uh, now let's start here so now the probability of you taking the red it is this one which means it's the two out of five and they say after taking the red you take the what you take the blue one right so this is uh the blue and you can see here there is the probability of red and blue so which means you're going to say the probability of red and your blue will be represented by what will be two over five multiplied by one over four right and when you are getting your answer your answer your answer your answer is going to be given by what three out of ten 
isn't it so so this is going to be uh these uh in this particular order now let's move swiftly along now let's go to now our 8.2.1 this one is the different one let's look at this one now on this one yeah saying a and b are two events the probability that event a will occur is 0 0.4 the probability that even B will occur is 0 0.3. The probability that either event A or B will occur, it is what? It's 0 uh, 0.58, right? Now, the first question is, are these events A and B mutually exclusive? Justify with appropriate calculations. As soon as they talk of anything about mutuality, whether inclusive or exclusive, we start here. We start here. We are saying, look, the probability of A or B. What is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B multiply by the prop or subtract the probability of A and B. And look, whenever they want you to prove whether they are mutually inclusive, they want you to prove this probability of A and B. For inclusivity, let me remind you, for mutually inclusive, the probability of A and B, they are you must have an answer, which means the probability of A and B is not equal to zero, which means you have a value. You have a value. You have a value. Why the probability of what? The probability of A uh, and B when is equal to zero, which means you have what? You have no intersection, which means you have no intersection. And uh, you have no intersection. While on the first one you have in intersection, you have an intersection, intersection, right? So basically that's what they want you to prove. So now you are going to calculate the probability of A and B and prove whether you are having an answer or not an answer, right? So let's start in here. Now you have the probability of A or B, the probability of A or B that you are already given is what? Uh, it is 0 0.5A. So you're going to say, look now, 0 0.58A is going to be given by what the probability of a the probability of a is 0 0.4 plus the probability of b which is 0 0.3 separate the probability of a and b and now when you plug this uh when you plug this what is the answer that you are going to have here now you are saying now what is going to the probability of a and b when you make the probability of a and b the subject of the formula this is going to the probability of a and b so this is going to be same as 0 0.4 plus 0 0.8. I mean, plus 0 0.3 subtract 0 0.58, right? And the answer that you are going to get here is 0 0.12, 0 0.12, 0 0.12. So is your answer mutually uh, exclusive? No, right? And why, why are you saying that uh, they are not exclusive? Because why? Because the probability of what? Because the probability of a and b is not equals to zero you are done you take your three marks you move right now which means what do they mean if they are not exclusive which means they are inclusive already that's what you need to think of in your brain right now let's look at the last question then now the last question will require us to do what uh let me try and squeeze it in here i'll just write it with a different color right and uh, now they want now to determine whether event A or B are independent events. They want you to also justify. For independent events, your probability of A and B must be the same as the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B. Simple. That's for independent events. Now you come in. Do you have the in the probability of A and B? Absolutely. It's this 0 0.12. So I'm going to say now 0 0.12 is equal to what is the probability of A? The probability of A, it was 0. Point what? Uh, it is 0 0.4. Uh, it is 0 0.4 multiplied by 0. Point what? 0 0.3. Already I see 0 0.4 multiplied by 3. And this again is what? This is going to be 0 0.12 is equal to 0 0.12 so yes they are independent they are independent and why are you saying these are independent because look the probability of a and b uh, is same as the probability of a multiplied by the probability of b get that yes so that is going to be your answer and you are absolutely covered you take your three marks you take your 11 marks you go you move right so basically, that's that. Thank you very much for tuning in.